Okay, so uh, we will start with the lookup functions. Uh, now, what is uh, a lookup function or what are lookup functions? Lookup functions enable the user to look up values from worksheet ranges. So essentially what this means is that uh, given a data set, a large data set, you can use the lookup functions to extract information from that data set, okay? Which, which of course you now realize that it's something which you need pretty often and therefore lookup functions are extremely useful and very, very frequently used uh, in, in <coughs> Microsoft Excel. Now, uh, talking about uh, lookup functions, there are two kinds, okay? Uh, the first one is the vertical lookup or the VLOOKUP. So, so this is the function name, VLOOKUP, and then you have uh, the next one, H lookup, which is the horizontal lookup. So the V in V lookup stands for vertical, and the H in in H lookup stands for uh, horizontal. Okay. Uh, in a vertical lookup, uh, the the data is arranged in columns, which is what you see right here. Uh, uh, I, I select this part. Yeah. So this is this is arranged in columns, arranged vertical. So if you have this kind of an arrangement of data, you will use VLOOKUP, right? Whereas if you have data arranged in rows, now since it's the same same data that we just saw, but this time it's arranged uh, in rows, so arranged horizontally. And here we will use uh, HLOOKUP. So, uh, so th that's the that's the difference. That's the primary difference between VLOOKUP and, and uh, H HLOOKUP. Um, we often use uh, VLOOKUP. We use it more often than HLOOKUP, and uh, therefore, uh, because of course you can understand the data most more often is arranged in, in vertically in, in in columns rather than rather than rows. Uh, so what we'll do is we'll concentrate on uh, the lookup, okay, and and then you will realize that you know once you understand how the lookup works, uh, you can very quickly start using each lookup. So it's it's pretty easy. It's very similar. These two functions are very similar. So so what you do is you focus on the lookup, right, and and then you can work on each uh, lookup <coughs> on your own. Okay, so we look up now best way to understand what a function is and how it works is to you know look at the syntax of the function so I go to a blank cell and I type V uh, look up right cell gives you this uh, to tip you press tab and here you have V look up with with the syntax now you see there are four parameters here look up value table array, okay, column index number, and range lookup, okay, so these are the four parameters that you have to provide uh, for, for the lookup. Now, what is this lookup value, what is table array, and so on and so forth, so let's look at it one by one. Lookup value, okay, lookup value is the value that we want to look up in the first column of the table range, the, the table array, which is the second parameter. Now let's look at this. Now let's say uh, here is an example uh, that we have, uh, example uh, data set. So we have product ID, we have product name, and we have we have price. Okay. Now what we want here is that given the ID, given a product ID, okay, we want to find out the price of the product. Okay. So let's 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 do this. So let's say write the cup, right? Look up value. So what you want to know here is, or what the system wants to know from you is 
what is it that you want to look up with, right? So if you, let's say you want to look up uh, the ID 400. So your lookup value, that is what you're looking up with, is 400. Okay, lookup value is 400, right? So we write 400. Now, table array. Table array is, is, is the parameter which will tell Excel where are you looking, where, which is the region where you are looking, right? Now here, I'm looking in this area this area you see this this is d4 to f9 this is where i'm looking for 400 okay the next third parameter is column index number so in this case you have to provide the column number of the column in which you are interested so here i'm interested in price as i said i, I want to know the price of product ID 400. So I want, I'm interested in the price column. Now the price column is the third column. So this is one, this is two, and this is three. So the third column. So my column index number would be three. Correct? And then we have the fourth parameter. And then the fourth parameter is something where we need some time. So we will we'll spend some time on this. Okay? Uh, the fourth parameter is range lookup, and now you can see, as, as given in the Excel tooltip help, that the Excel will accept two, two values for this parameter. One is true, the other is false. Now, true means approximate match, and false means exact match. Okay, now what are these? We'll, we'll talk about in a moment. Before that, I'll also ask you to look at the brackets within which we have range lookup. You can see this is that range lookup is enclosed within third brackets, which means that this parameter is optional. So you may provide value, you may not provide value, and, and depending on what you do, Excel will work accordingly and give you the result. Okay? So Let's let's come back to this formula in a moment. Uh, let's look at this range lookup. Okay, and I said range lookup takes either true or false. Fine. Now, true or false, or in case of true, in, in instead of true, you can write one. Instead of false, you can write zero. It's essentially the same thing. If it is true, then we say this is approximate search and this is exact search. Okay, or ex approximate match, exact match. Now, what is approximate match? What is exact match? How does VLOOKUP work when you provide one or you provide zero? Is what we will concentrate on next, of course, using uh, <coughs> this example.